up guys it's the moving junk guy back again with another video i um, hope you guys are killing it in biz for your moving companies for your junk removal companies hope you guys are really killing it really getting it really increasing biz uh growing revenues and all that i just wanted to come today with a nice little video about something that uh i've been using for a while and i think that more business owners should uh consider using um, a lot of a, a lot of us small businesses, we have uh, you know movers, especially in moving companies, junk removal companies. We have movers and we have laborers, but as far as building out our the other parts of our business, we don't really have a lot of other people in place. Um, and a lot of times that can be really costly between hiring and you know HR and payroll. Um, a lot of that stuff can add up in cost. So. I figured out one way that you can reduce that cost by a lot. Um, right now, I staff a couple of virtual assistants. So virtual assistants are like pretty key. And honestly, they can take your business to the next level. They can really take your business to the next level just by with a low, with a low overhead at that. Uh, a typical person that you hire and employ you're gonna have to pay, especially in the US, you're gonna have to pay them maybe, uh, depending on what position they, they're in, you might have to pay them anywhere between 15 and $25 an hour. Uh, that's a high amount for some of us small businesses. Uh, so if you have somebody that's full time, you think about that, that's a big expense that you're putting out every month. And I know we're all trying to grow in our business, so you gotta put out some expenses, which makes sense. So. What I figured out was, if I hire a virtual assistant, I can cut down my costs while increasing my productivity. So that's what I did. So I use a site called onlinejobs.ph. It's a big uh, virtual assistant website where you basically hire these people or you post a job and people are able to apply to that job and then you can sort through all your different candidates and see which one uh, works out best for you. Uh, so it's a really good uh, website. It's a really good way to increase your business. Uh, so the way that I employ my virtual assistants are anywhere between list making. So going around uh, gathering cold lists of employees and then, or not employees, of different industries that I work with and then going from there. Or you can use them for any number of things, administrative tasks. Uh, you can use them for cold calling. You can use them for sales, HR. Um, Basically anything besides doing the actual physical work of being a mover or a junk removal person because most of these people are remote and as I said uh, They're in the Philippines. So I mean if you're so it doesn't make sense to think that they're gonna be there in person. So Virtual assistants are a key to increasing your business. I'm telling you uh, How I use mine how I've used mine in the past and how I use mine now completely defer uh, I hadn't really tapped into their full potential early on so what I learned is when I first started using virtual assistants, I was using them to do things like market research, uh, competitor analysis, which is great because uh, it'll help you stand out from your competitors and also help you set your price. That's how I, uh, I learned to set my, set my price for my business, uh, for my hourly rate, for my, uh, for my cost for junk removal audit. So basically uh, they did a competitive analysis, reached out to a lot of different companies in my area got pricing and then I was able to come in less than them uh, and be competitive. So that's one way to employ them. Another way is what I use now, my virtual assistant covers all my marketing. So you think about it, if you have somebody that does all your marketing, a lot of us small businesses, we don't do a lot of marketing for our business unless it's us because we're small. Uh, so one way to kind of leapfrog that and you know appear as a big business because that's all that's what we all wanna be is big biz. We wanna be big biz, we wanna be big companies and we wanna make big money. Uh, so you can portray the image that you're a bigger company, much bigger company than you are because you're competing at a high level with your uh, marketing. My, uh, my virtual assistant, she really kills it with the marketing, especially the social media marketing. I've had so many compliments, uh, so many businesses hit me up and be like, oh, your, your marketing is so professional, I love it, I wanna work with you. Uh, so that's just some of the byproducts. And then even just like things like email marketing. We all have these customers that we work for where we now have their email addresses. Um, 
and we can email market to them. I just came across this recently. Uh, I heard it from another uh, person who does like uh, a lot of videos and things like that. They were saying that it takes, uh, it costs a lot more to acquire a new customer than it does to uh, nurture and reuse an old customer. So if you take that logic and you're sending out um, uh, different promotions, uh, different price uh, discounts, and just checking in with your customer periodically, even if you have them do your email marketing, you load all your past customers into a funnel and then you just keep on marketing to them. Even if it only yields one uh, client or one repeat business, you, I, I'm, I promise you, you paid for your monthly uh, expense of your virtual system because they're so cheap, they're so cost effective. Um, my virtual assistant, I think she comes in somewhere around $3 an hour. I'm telling you guys, you gotta do this. I employ her for about 20 hours a week, so that's 80 hours a month, so that's three hours, so that's $240 a month. Can you get anybody full-time or even part-time for less than that in one week? I doubt it. So why would you ever do that? Some of these SEO and marketing companies charge like 10 times that a month for marketing. But you can pay someone way cheaper for that who can, who actually has a specialty in it as well, just in another country where the labor rate is a lot less expensive, and you can use them to accelerate your business. So there are just a few ways that I use virtual assistants. So make sure that you go hire a virtual assistant. Again, that website is onlinejobs.ph. I'll put it in the. Uh, I'll put it in the notes, the video notes, and I'll also put it across the screen just so you guys can make sure you copy that down. I'm telling you, execute on this, and I'm sure it will increase your revenue by at the least 10%. I've gotten 10-figure contracts, 10-figure jobs just based off of things that my virtual assistant is doing. Can't tell me that this isn't paying off. So guys, I implore you to go get a virtual assistant. I promise you, you will not regret it. Guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like and subscribe and follow and do all that good stuff. And I will uh, talk to you soon. Hope you guys keep killing it in biz.